The train ride. Today, Peppa and her friends are going on a train ride. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit is the station master. How many tickets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten child tickets and one teacher ticket, please. Now, children, do not lose these tickets. Can I see your tickets, please? Uh, I've lost my ticket. Oh dear, Pedro, you must be more careful. There's your ticket. <laughs> oh, try not to lose it again. Here comes the train. Choo-choo! Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! Here are your activity sheets. The children have to spot everything that is on the activity sheet. A boat, a signal box, and a tunnel. I can see trees. Are trees on the list? Uh, no. I can see clouds. Are clouds on the list? No. I can see Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Hello, Grandad Dog! Is Grandad Dog on the list? Silly Peppa. My Grandad won't be on the list. But he is sailing a boat. And a boat is on the list. Hooray! The children tick the boat on their activity sheet. <laughs> Tickets, please. Mr. Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. The train is going slowly uphill. <laughs> The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Do -da -dum -dum, da -de -da. Hey. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. <laughs> Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train is on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, the train is on the track. <laughs> a signal box. That's on our list. Hooray! The children tick the signal box on their activity sheets. The signal has stopped the train so that someone important can cross. Activity sheet. <laughs> Last stop. Wall change. Everybody off now. But Madam Gazelle, how are we going to get home? Oh, oh Peppa, we are back where we started. The train has gone in a big circle. <laughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Peppa's lost his ticket again. Um, Pedro, can I have my hat back, please? There's Pedro's ticket. Oh, that's where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig's chickens. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig! Gangy Ig! Hello, my little ones. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, Mummy. Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs>
This was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like your mummy when she was little. Did mummy bounce on the bed? Of course. But mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. When mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Ah! Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr. Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick, and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah, and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Peppa. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. Yeah. And he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh. It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now go to sleep. Night, night. <laughs> It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny. Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah, and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes. It's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. Talent <laughs> 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 day. It is the end of another day at Peppa's playgroup. Children, tomorrow is talent day. What is a talent? A talent is something you like doing and you're good at. <laughs> I like to watch television and I'm good at it. Think of something we might like to see you do. My talent is playing the guitar. <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Don't forget to think of something to do for Talent Day tomorrow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. I can't go to bed yet. I haven't got a talent to show tomorrow. But you have lots of talents, Pepper. Yes, I can skip. 
I can sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can dance. It's hard to choose one talent. I am good at lots of things. Don't worry. You can decide tomorrow. Okay. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing, and dancing. I practiced them all last night. I was practicing watching television last night. <laughs> That's not a talent, Madam Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <laughs> Danny Dog. I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Nay, <coughs> Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you, Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> And what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh dear, dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. Now, who do we have left? Peppa. I was going to skip or sing or dance, but they've all been done. A talent can be anything, Peppa. But not watching television. <laughs> Think of something you really like to do. I know. I've got a talent that I'm really good at. I wonder what Peppa's talent can be. My special talent that I'm the best at in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. A trip to the moon. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is playing with her bouncy ball. George and his friend Edmund Elephant are playing with their space toys. George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Edmund's space toy has landed on Peppa's head. <laughs> This looks fun. Are you going to the moon? It's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Peppa, and there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Should we go and see it? Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Peppa. We're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. Okay. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <coughs> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. 
It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are, on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr. Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> and that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there cherries on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No. That would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh. How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Hmm. And very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa at the playground. Grandpa Pig is looking after Peppa and George today. Now, Grandpa, I will tell you how everything works. This is the slide. You climb up here and you slide down there. Whee! And everyone takes it in turns. Oh, ho, ho. Whee! I know what a slide is, Peppa. I used to play on one myself. When I was a little piggy. Did you have swings too in the olden days? Oh, we had swings and climbing frames and roundabouts. Oh. But my favourite was the slide. It is my favourite too. <laughs> Whee! Everyone takes it in turns to have a go on the slide. Whee! <laughs> Naughty Richard. You know you have to wait your turn. Richard Rabbit finds it hard to wait his turn. Oh, dear. It's not easy being small, is it, Richard? <laughs> because Richard is little, I don't think he should have to wait. I wouldn't change the rules if I were you, Grandpa Pig. Nonsense. The children understand, don't you? <laughs> Whee! George is little and he has to wait his turn. <laughs> yes, George is little, so he shouldn't have to wait either. <laughs> oh dear, Whee! Richard and George are taking all the turns on the slide. Grandpa, when do we get to go on the slide? 
Don't worry, Peppa. They won't be on it for long. <sighs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. Let's play on the swing. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony on the swing. No. <laughs> Pedro, can I have a go now? I just want to swing a bit more. But you've been on the swing for ages. Grandpa Pig, can you push me a little bit, please? I think it is someone else's turn now, Pedro. But I have to go home soon. Uh, oh, I see. That's different. Let me push you then. But Grandpa, <laughs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. And me. Well, let's fly on the roundabout. <laughs> Everyone wants to get on the roundabout. Too many children on the roundabout. Everybody off. <gasps> But Grandpa Pig, I was actually here first. Ah. Then you can get back on the roundabout. I need to get on too. Oh, why is that, Rebecca? Um, because it's my birthday soon. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> And me. Oh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yes. yes. Stop. There are no boys on the roundabout. Um. <laughs> now is everybody ready? I'm wearing glasses. Can I go on, please? The children are making up their own rules. I need to get them because I like carrots. <laughs> Now, are you all ready to go? No, I have to get on because I can do this. <laughs> Here is Mummy Pig. How are you getting on, Grandpa Pig? I, I, I'm confused. These playground rules are too complicated. There is only one rule, Grandpa Pig, and that is everyone waits their turn. Whee! <laughs> What? Even the little ones? Even the little ones. What about the very old ones, like Grandpa? Even the very old ones, like Grandpa. At the playground, everyone has their turn. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> a fish. It is a lovely sunny morning. Daddy Pig is driving to work in his car. Breakfast time, Goldie. Mummy Pig is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, Goldie isn't eating. Oh, maybe she's not feeling very well. Let's phone Dr. Hamster the vet. Dr. Hamster the vet speaking. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Goldie the fish is not eating. And she looks sad. Oh, you better bring Goldie to see me right away. Oh, Daddy took the car. How do we get to the vet? We can take the bus. Oh, goody! <laughs> This is the bus stop. The timetable says the next bus will be here at ten o'clock. What time is it now? Ten o'clock. Hooray! <laughs> How many tickets? One mummy ticket and two little piggies. And one of fish, please. The fish goes free. <laughs> Hold tight. Mr. Bull is waiting for the bus. Moo! One ticket to the music shop, please. Hello, Mr. Bull. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh dear! Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs. Sheep, Mrs. Cat, Mr. Zebra, and Madam Gazelle have got on the bus. Ah ho! Four tickets to the supermarket, please. Hello, Madam Gazelle. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus. <laughs> Supermarket. Hi. Music shop. Hi. Last stop. The vet. The 
vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Ah. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are going home on the bus. Mr. Bull is going home with his bended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes, it was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet, and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy, we want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK, we'll go on the bus. <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. Funfair. Today, Pepper and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey. George wants to go on the helter skelter. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? Okay. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. And the giant teddy mummy. I'll try, Pepper, but I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. Mummy Pig has won. Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Pepper? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> 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 oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Oh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh! That really is high. <laughs> Phew! I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Roll up, roll up! 
Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. No skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, ho. I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, ho, yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <coughs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> It is a school day for Pepper and her friends. Aho, children. Today, we will be learning all about numbers. Does anybody know what numbers are for? Are numbers for counting? Yes, Pepper. Who would like to do some counting now? Me! 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 Me. Okay, Pedro. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pedro has counted to four. Well done, Pedro. Can anyone count higher than four? Me, me, me. Rebecca. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rebecca has counted to seven. Excellent, Rebecca. Madam Gazelle. Yes, Candy? My mum can count to ten. Wow. Yes, after seven, there is eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Pepper all like to skip. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> I like Ping. I like Pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak! I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay. <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Peppa. I'm hula hooping. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop, hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh. How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow, that's a lot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. I'm a bit tired. I'll do the rest later. <laughs> can you do hula hoops, Emily? I can do them my own special way. Emily Elephant is hula hooping with her trunk. Hooray! I think that was about one hundred. <laughs> George wants to play leapfrog. George likes playing leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! <laughs> Playtime is over. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, we can all count to ten now. Very good. But we need to be playing to do it. Of course. Let's up.
Edmund, bring the extra long skipping rope. <laughs> Hello. I've come to collect Pepper and George. Daddy, you're too early. Oh. Not to worry. You can join in our game. Oh, okay. Is everybody ready? Ready. Counting to ten. Oh, you look tired, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm fine. I could skip to a hundred. Good idea, Daddy Pig. To a hundred. Uh, maybe to twenty. Okay, to twenty. Digging up the road. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her family are driving to the playground. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> We're going to the playground. We're going to the playground. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Pepper and George love going to the playground. <laughs> oh, why have we stopped? It's a traffic jam. But we need to get to the playground. <laughs> Don't worry, George. The traffic is moving again. Stop! Mr. Bull has stopped the traffic. What's the problem, Mr. Bull? Moo! We're digging up the road. There's water coming out of the ground. Yes, that's what we're here to fix. Ooh. Is it going to take long? It will take as long as it takes. <laughs> digger, digger. George <laughs> likes diggers. This way, Mr. Rhino. Okay, boss. Mr. Bull is the boss. Mr. Bull, where's all that water coming from? It's coming from a broken water pipe underground. How are you going to fix it? We dig up the road! Wow! We turn the water off. <laughs> George loves cranes. Crane! Crane! We take the old pipe out and put the new one in. <laughs> Thank you for showing us your work, Mr. Bull. Oh, no problem. Bye! See you later! <laughs> oh dear. George doesn't want to leave Mr. Bull. We're going to the playground, George. <laughs> you can play diggers and cranes in the sand pit. And we'll see Mr. Bull again on our way home. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the playground. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Let's play in the sandpit. Okay. <laughs> Stop. What's the problem? We're picking up the road and I'm the boss. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to take long? It'll take as long as it will take. We have to make a hole. Vroom, vroom. We fill it in. Vroom, vroom. And the road is mended. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa, George, it's time to go home. Oh dear. George doesn't want to go home yet. On the way home, George, we can see Mr. Bull digging up the road. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Peppa. Peppa and George are looking forward to seeing Mr. Bull again. Digger, way. Here we are. Oh, Mr. Bull is not here. Mr. Bull must have finished and gone home. Oh, is the water pipe broken again?
again? No, Peppa. This time, it's faulty electrical cables. How do you mend a clickety cables? We dig up the road! Hooray! Peppa and George love it when Mr. Bull digs up the road. Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull digs up the road. <laughs> Ready, Fox. Peppa and her friends are playing at Rebecca Rabbit's house. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. <laughs> we'll all hide and Peppa can find us. OK. One, two... Everyone must find a hiding three, place before Peppa counts four. to ten. Danny and Candy are hiding in the branches of a little tree. Zoe, Pedro and Rebecca are hiding behind a fence. Susie and Emily are hiding behind a bush. Nine, ten. Where's your knot? Here I come. <laughs> I know where you are. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pepper cannot find anyone. <gasps> this is impossible. Freddy Fox has come to play. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Pepper. What are you doing? We're playing hide and seek. But I can't find anyone. Shall I find them for you? You can try, but it's impossible. Now, watch this. Found you. Oh, hello, Freddy. Ha-ha, there you are. Oh. oh. Both. Oh. Freddy Fox has found everyone. How did you do that? I'm good at smelling. What's smelling got to do with it? I can find you by sniffing your smell. <laughs> I'm not smelly. I had a bath last night. I know. You smell nice. Oh. <laughs> I could even find you with my eyes closed. Go on, then. <laughs> find Susie with your eyes closed. Easy. Hi, Susie. One, two, three. Susie is looking for somewhere to hide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Freddy is looking for Susie with his eyes closed. He is sniffing where Susie Sheep has walked. Round the tree, behind the little bush, and back up the hill. My nose. It's a super nose. Yes, it is. Has everything got a smell? Oh, yes. Everything has a different smell. What do I smell of? <laughs> you smell of flowers and Wellington boots. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? You smell of wet grass and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? Bananas and jam. <laughs> what do I smell of? Milk and fish fingers. <laughs> what do I smell of? Pedro, you smell of toothpaste. Oh, what's your favourite smell? Eggs. What is the worst thing you've ever smelled? Blue cheese. Pooey! <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly dinner time. How do you know? I can smell carrot soup. <laughs> I can smell carrot soup too. And, and me. me. Dinner's ready. Come and get your carrot soup. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is enjoying Mummy Rabbit's carrot soup. This soup is yummy. <coughs> Who can that be? Mr Fox has come to take Freddy home. Mmm, <coughs> oh, I can smell dinner. Oh, Mr Fox. Hello. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Hello, Dad. I've just had my dinner down a rabbit hole. Good lad. And can you guess what's for pudding? <coughs> Smells nice. <coughs> I'd say strawberry jelly. That's right. Mr. Fox loves smelling things. Mm. Everyone loves smelling things. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling. It 
is a lovely sunny morning, and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> try making a smaller O shape. <laughs> oh, oh, like this. And then you can whistle a tune. Ugh, I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. It took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <whistles> oh, yes. Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <laughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? Okay, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle, but good because I can't whistle. What's whistling anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody. Cookies. <coughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? <laughs> yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Peppa. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. <laughs> What's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle. <laughs> Dr. Hamster's tortoise. It is a school day. Children, Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. 
Today is Binky, the butcher. Hello, Binky. Well, can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr. Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. Oh, it is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah, fire, fire! Fire station, where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What, again? Emergency, emergency, tortoise up a tree. I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back! Tiddles! Come on, Tiddles! Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, oh, I don't know. Oh, here they are. Safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> And snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. It is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> eh? What? <laughs> we are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? 
It's the walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plow. Snow plows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr. Bull. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're all going on a seaside holiday. The seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh, that sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. Okay, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. Okay, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George, and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me. Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! I love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's computer. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig. Watch this, a cuckoo clock. Yes, it goes. Cuckoo, cuckoo, but it's broken. Can you mend it, please, Grandpa Pig? Hmm, let's take it to my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa, now you've really broken it. Oh, I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy! Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I, I really need one. 
Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is Happy Mrs. Chicken. When you press this button, she lays an egg. I am very good at it, but George is the best. Perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Peppa and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs. Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh, Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There, that should do it. I am mended. Hooray! My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? No, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs. Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow. wow! So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> it is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Peppa? I've hurt my knee. <whistles> Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes, thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, turn on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> Children's war! <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee, and I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr. 
potato, a carrot, and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. Okay, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow! And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed. Yes. Hmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Doctor Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm. I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> It is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Peppa. Your knee is better. Oh yes! <laughs> hello, everyone. Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. No. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. Everybody likes running around having fun.